Okay, so here's another trick that I kind of um, figured out. I don't remember how I came about it, but um, anyway, a couple of days ago, and I'm sure, I know I've seen it, probably Rich Porter before doing it or something, but um, it's basically an outer isolation. You'll see I'm not um, too good at this yet, so, or at least with doing it, um, there we go, yeah. So essentially it's the same concept as doing it, as doing an isolation on the inside, except instead of switching your grip where you have to switch up here at the top, you're going to be switching at the bottom and instead you're on the outside. So when you get to, to the bottom here or like this, you have to roll over the top of your hand and then, and then grab it again. So um, I kind of think I think this works more well just as a simple thing in flow because um, it's hard to really like, at least for me yet, to like really do perfectly. So it works well combined with um, bouncing isolations and things like that. So I guess the first step to getting this is a um, back end, back of the hand roll. I, um, I don't really know what else to call it. Basically start with your hand at your waist or whatever, you want the hoop to be a bit off the ground so it's not touching. And um, palm down, basically you're going to use the strength of your hand to send momentum over the top of your hand like this and then back down again, like that. So you'll see that, um, give you more of a close up of my hand while I'm doing this. Uh, going like that and then you see that I kind of have to slide it along and grab again so there it like my hand moves a little bit and this can obviously be done the other way too so I'm really spreading my hand out when it goes across so there's more surface area so get comfortable with this on both hands I actually think a little bit better on my left hand for some reason um, I'm also really flexing my hand like this, so it has a little bit of a like rut to go in. Um, so yeah, and that's a trick in itself, really. So um, anyway, then the outside isolation would be um, you're gonna start with your hand down here, palm up, and on the outside, your grip is on the outside of the hoop. So you're gonna come around, actually. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, actually, it might be easier just to start on the top here. So, I'm up here, and I'm going to come down like this, and when it gets underneath here, I'm going to roll over like that, and then grab again. So, um, you really have to do it quickly, which is difficult for me to uh, do with this tutorial, but um, basically you're going to come around here, and your hand has to go from being like this to like this to like this again. I guess it's more like this, this, that, yeah. So like I said, it's a little bit easier to do this in, in like a flow when you can just be, you know, doing whatever and then you're, maybe you're up here from doing a a balance or whatever and then you can kind of start it the way that you uh, start the roll of the, top of the hand roll over and then um, and then instead of just letting it roll over grab and then come back into something like that but it's a really useful tool I think it looks freaking cool I've been doing it a lot um, also you can practice with trying to just like balance the the hoop, which is difficult, but kind of a cool way to um, be more in touch with your hoop and like the way that it wants to move, and then going with that. So, I don't know, some different like techniques, um, some like advanced isolation hand shit to work on. Um, yeah, good luck, and hope you enjoy.